Welcome to the Bot Signal, your home for news and views about messenger chatbots. A convo a day, what does it mean? Okay, this episode today is a little interesting. I'm not going to talk specifically about bots very much. We're going to get to it at the end. We had a listener question from Jessica Payne, uh, but this is more of a mindset day than anything. So let's get into it. Numbers. We're obsessed with them. If you are a live streamer, YouTuber, podcaster, content creator, blogger, vlogger, uh, whatever it is you're doing out there, you're probably obsessed with how many views, how many shares, how many likes, how many comments, how many, you know, boosting the algorithm. We're obsessed with the numbers. We tend to think of it as the top of a funnel that hopefully some people will gravitate toward the bottom of. I get it. I have been there. I've been there many, many times. Numbers can be such a roller coaster. It can be totally exhilarating and it can be downright depressing. Now, let's face it. Um, what? But what do these numbers really mean? I've been obsessed with this idea lately. What do these numbers really mean? Most of the time, more often than not, they don't mean very much. They, you know, I mean, probably some with, with a spreadsheet will prove me wrong. That's fine. Go ahead and do that. However, I'm not a spreadsheet girl. And for me, those numbers are, are kind of a vanity metric. It's kind of, it's, it's sort of telling me how I'm doing, but it's not really telling me how many connections I'm making. So a convo a day is born. Here's the number that I'm going to be focusing all of my energy on. How many conversations I can start per day. It can be a conversation. It can be a brand new connection. It can also be a connection that I already have, but furthering relationship. You know, we went to another stage. We tried something new together. We had a new experience, that type of thing. Both of those types count. Doesn't have to be new connections, but it does have to be furthering a relationship. Those are my requirements. I have settled on as my starting number. I want to have just one con conversation a day. I feel like this number is going to be much more important to me and much more related to my bottom line than any sort of, you know, views on a video any sort of how many likes I can get, you know, that stuff, that stuff is easy. But having a conversation and making a connection with someone, that's where the meat is. Of course, Messenger Bot is my favorite way to start a conversation. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. But I want to focus now on how many connections that I can make true connections with real people. To me, that number is where the gold mine lies. And that's my goal. I'm going to be reporting once a week, telling you how I'm doing on this convo a day business. So welcome to that party. If you want to join me, please do so. And please report to me your results because I want to know. Okay, so here's my report. Da, 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 da. I had eight conversations this week. So that's a little bit more than what I had put forth as a goal for the Conversation a Day project, which makes me pleased. Hello. So I had eight this week. I had four brand new connections. Uh, they were fantastic. Did Lottie Hearn show. That thing was a hoot. Uh, met with, met a new friend named Jeff, uh, I hung out with Aaron Strayer, uh, twice and had a wonderful time. Uh, and also a lady named Megan, we might be doing some business here, uh, building a bot in June. So that was, that was amazing. Uh, and then also had four conversations that really furthered 
the relationship, you know, taking some new steps here, uh, doing doing some great things. My friend Kim Boltzmann and I did a live stream together on Friday that was called Nerdy Girls uh, Geek Out Over New Technology. Super fun. Uh, I talked to my friend Ryan this week about possibly starting a new podcast. Look forward to that here on Anchor spoke to my friend Jessica about Anchor, and she's why I'm here right now. And uh, my friend Motion I, uh, we are going to be working on his bot as well. So new steps taken everywhere. Great conversations had all around. Really feel like those eight people are in my circle somewhere. Some of them are going to end up as clients. Some of them are not. They're going to end up as collaborators. They're going to end up as referrals. But they're in my circle now. For good or for ill, we'll see. Now we'll get to a listener question from Jessica. Hey, RJ, I love your show. This is Jessica from Los Angeles. And I was wondering, can you share a couple of tips on how to make my bot sound more human? Thanks so much. Want to thank you for that question, Jessica. So here is my answer, my friend. You asked about how to make a bot more human. Here's the thing. Here's the mindset that I want you to get into. Bots are for conversation and connection. Conversation, make your bot conversational. And what I mean by that is make sure it sounds like the way you talk. Use words you would say. Be pre- the best way to do this, honestly, is to ditch everything you've ever written to m- for marketing. <laughs> Grab a stack of post-it notes. You can do this for free, people. Head to the nearest blank wall in your home, apartment, or wherever you're living right now and start writing out little bits of conversations. Pretend you're at a cocktail party. Pretend you're talking to me and write down things that are conversational, short and sweet. You don't want to go on too long in any one area. If you're just starting out, that's a wonderful place to start is with a conversation. Imagine a conversation. I have seen, uh, you know, I do a lot of research on bots. I'm always getting into, you know, uh, subscribing to bots and seeing what people are doing. I have seen some of the worst things imaginable. I've seen people copy entire emails and drop them in a bot and hope for results. I understand. Hey, it's the Wild West out there right now. A lot of people doing a lot of different things. I, however, urge you to keep it conversational. Keep it short and sweet. Offer value. Sometimes that value is education. Sometimes that value is, hey, do you want to ask me a question? And then give them a space to ask you, ask you a question. Connect with people. Draw people into your circle. Now, if you're in the more advanced stages, which I know that Jessica Payne is in the more advanced stages, you're going to want to use all of the opportunities available in ManyChat for audio, video, PDFs, and text. The best way to make your bot into a human experience is to utilize these different things. Utilize a little audio clip. Utilize a video clip telling us who you are and what you do and why you do what you do. Be personal. Be human. The more personality you put into your bot, the more of your personality, whether that's a light and funny personality, whether that's a little wacky, whether that's much more business-like, whatever it is, the more personality of your personality you put into a bot, the better results you're going to get. Guarantee it. All right, people. Love you. Talk to you next time. Thanks for listening today. You can find full episodes of The Bot Signal on your favorite podcast player. And if you have the Anchor app, stop in. Ask me a question, leave me a voice message, and I'll include it on my next show. If you're completely new to bots and you don't know what's going on there, visit me at checkoutmybot.com. Start a conversation with me. Take my free mini course. It's all available. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in a bot.